Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. In this video, we will be talking about cow's milk protein allergy. Milk protein allergy is considered to be the most common form of allergy which is seen world over. In milk protein allergy, the body reacts to proteins present in the milk and the most common form is, is cow's milk protein allergy. Cow's milk protein allergy is seen to be of two types. One is an IgE mediated cow's milk protein allergy. Now in this situation, the child presents with immediate symptoms. So as soon as the child consumes milk or the child gets into contact with milk on the skin or in some patients, even if uh, the, the child inhales fumes which contains some amount of milk, the child gets an immediate reaction. Now this reaction could be in the form of hives, redness of the skin, swelling of the tongue around the eyes. It could be in the form of coughing, wheezing, difficulty in breathing, hoarse voice. Children can also develop tummy pain and can have loose motions as well. Now occasionally children with cow's milk protein allergy develop a severe reaction which is called as anaphylaxis. Now in this situation the child can have a weak pulse, the child can have extreme difficulty in breathing, the child can find that the blood pressure turns low and this reaction could be life threatening. On the other hand, the non-IgE mediated cow's milk protein allergy presents with delayed symptoms and these symptoms could be in the form of rashes, it could be in the form of atopic eczema, it could be in the form of blood in stools and it could also be in the form of a chronic persistent diarrhea. Now, if we suspect that some child has cow's milk protein allergy, then what are the investigations which are available? For, a, for an IgE mediated cow's milk protein allergy, we can do allergy testing in the form of either a skin prick test or a blood test which is also known as an immunocap. Now in a skin prick test, we put cow's milk protein extract on the forearm of the child in the form of a drop. We can also use fresh milk and we also use controls. Now, if the child has a cow's milk protein allergy, then during the, uh, during the skin prick test, we would find that there would be a small mosquito bite reaction which is seen on the skin, confirming that the child has cow's milk protein allergy. For children with non-IgE mediated cow's milk protein allergy, unfortunately, there is no test currently available. In this situation, we advise parents to not give any milk or milk products to the child for a period of around four to six weeks. Now, if the child shows significant improvement after this elimination diet, we would re-challenge the, the child again with cow's milk and see whether the same symptoms would appear again. So this is the only test which is possible in a non-IgE mediated cow's milk protein allergy. So if your child is having any symptoms suggestive of milk protein allergy, do get in touch with an allergist to make a proper diagnosis and keep your children absolutely well. Thank you very much.